So let's talk about writing an autoresponder email series that converts. First of all, you need to figure out what are you promoting? And then you need to figure out what is the call to action or the end action that you want your readers to take. Do you want them to purchase your product or service? Purchase another person's product or service? Or fill out a form or, or what do you want them to take? If you have that in mind, then you can start the process of creating your emails. Now, before we talk about the email itself, I want you to get to understand that your emails need to connect to each other. And they need to contain a way that email one can connect to email two and email two connects to email three. This is not about just writing a bunch of emails and putting them in order. You have to find a way to basically connect them. So link your emails. If you link your emails, think about it. To ensure conversions are high, you want to make sure that email one at the very end reminds readers that email two is coming. And then email two, when somebody's reading it, needs to remind readers that email three is coming and when will it be coming if you tell people in advance when it will be coming then they will expect your email and when they expect your email your conversions actually are higher because they're waiting to receive your content your advice or whatever that you're providing them and they must be related topic wise and create a chain Otherwise, if they are not related, you've just bunched a bunch of emails together, then you can expect your conversions to drop. Now let's talk about the email. The email itself needs to contain the following. So we have email subject line. And I'm going to walk you through step by step here. The email subject line is basically what people see first. So when the autoresponder sends them an email, that's what they're going to see. So you see a bunch of emails in your inbox. The email subject line is what grabs them. So it really has to be catchy. You have to do it in a certain way to grab their attention and get them to click. Because unfortunately, not everybody is going to click the email. So this is kind of like the front door to your email. Once they click, they're going to see the email body, basically the content where you say, hi, or dear so-and-so, blah, 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 and enter your content. You can enter uh, downloadable files. You can put your content directly in there. You could put links to your videos and so forth. So your email body is going to contain your actual content. And let's say, for example, it's a free list. If somebody signs up for a freebie and you put them into your autoresponder system, then you want to make sure that you give them the freebie. And if you have it linked to email two, say, OK, email two is coming and I have another valuable tip or advice or video that I'm going to give you in two days. So make sure that you announce what is coming next. You don't have to give the full detail, just give some detail to make sure that they're curious and tell them, hey, it's going to come in two days. That way they can expect to receive it. If they're not expecting it, a lot of times what that is, is disruption marketing. And disruption marketing does not always work because somebody is not expecting it. So make sure that you tell them in advance. And then after that, you can say the call to action. You can swap the call to action in this here, but this needs to come in order. So you can have the call to action before that in this here. But this basically just tells them, hey, you know, be on my list because something else is about to be sent to you of value. And then you have the call to action. Make sure that you include what you want them to do. And make sure that the call to action actually has something to do with the email body. So let's say for example, that your 
email or your product is about puppy training. If your email subject line says how to stop your puppy from pooping on your rug or something, they click on it. You have to talk about how to stop your puppy from pooping on your rug in your email body. And then the call to action set shows watch these videos or buy this product that talks more about puppy training. You could say something like, I hope you enjoyed this email. And in the next email that you will be receiving two days from now, I will be talking about how it can prevent your puppy from chewing up your TV cables. And then you can say something like, if you would like more puppy training advice, buy my ebook here and blah, blah, blah. So it's simple email subject line headline, email body, pushes them down, announce what's coming next and get them to take some action. If you follow these rules and you connect all your emails together as one big chain link, then your conversions are going to be a lot higher.